Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to make an no-bake Oreo cheesecake. It's very simple and it tastes great. So what you're first going to have to do is you're going to have to get 25 regular Oreos and you're going to put them in your blender and you're going to blend them up until they're just crumbs. Okay, now that they're just crumbs, you're going to have to prepare three tablespoons of melted margarine. Now that you have three tablespoons of margarine melted, you're going to add all your crumbs in that you blended from those cookies. And now all that you're going to do is you're going to use a fork and you're just going to mix it up. Okay, now that you have your mixture of the melted margarine and the cookies, what you're going to do is you're going to pour it into a 9 inch cheesecake pan. So once you have it poured in there, you're going to try to get it so that it's pretty evenly dispersed throughout the pan. And once you have it like that, what you're going to do is you're going to start packing it down a bit. So this can take a little while, but just pack it down so it's even and it's well packed. Okay, now that I have the crust evenly put throughout the pan and patted down, I'm going to put that into the fridge until I need it next. Next what you're going to need is you're going to need 16 ounces of cream cheese that is softened to room temperature. Uh, typically this is just two bricks when you buy them at the store. And then what you need to do is you need to add one cup of powdered sugar and then you will add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and then you're going to mix this up using either a blender or just using a fork until it's a nice creamy mixture okay now that you have your cream cheese mixture what you're going to do is you are going to make some whipped cream next for the whipped cream you're going to have two cups of it and you are going to use a blender until it gets very thick. Okay, the whipped cream is done when it keeps its form easily by itself as you put the blender through it or the beater through it. Another way to tell is you take it and if you can turn the bowl sideways and nothing happens, you know it's ready. Okay, now that you have your whipped cream done, you're going to add that to your cream cheese mixture. You're just going to add it all in there. And then you're just going to mix it in nicely until it's all thoroughly mixed together. And once it's mixed in nicely like that, you're going to get 16 Oreos that are chopped up. And you're going to add those in and mix it up with that. Once you have that mixed up nicely, what you're going to need is you're going to need to get your cheesecake pan out again that has your crust in it. And now you're just going to pour this in there and make sure that it's level. Now you're just going to spread around so it's nice and level and even throughout the whole pan. Once you have it spread out evenly like so, what you can do is you can add more Oreos on top, however you wish, to make a design. But that's the basis of this cheesecake. So you can even add chocolate syrup over the top, or do basically whatever you want to add your finishing touches to it. And that's how to make no-bake Oreo cheesecake.